Hello, this is Steve with the Free Bullion Investment Guide. Today is February 16th, and I'm doing a review and outlook for gold. This is gold's uh, four-hour chart right here. And in review of my last video, I had sh I've been showing you this rising expanding wedge for some time in gold's uh, price chart. It is looming over it, and um, it is expected to confirm it to the downside sometime in the future. Now, I will get to a little bit more on that uh, later in the video here in just a few minutes um, first in reviewing the last video I had shown you these two patterns in uh, the four-hour chart on gold the rising wedge which is a negative pattern it uh, the price of gold did do as expected and confirmed it to the downside as we can see right here and so that we will remove uh, that pattern from the price of gold um, the rising wedge and the falling expanding wedge is a positive pattern in the price of gold. And as we can see, late last week, the price of gold broke above it uh, pretty convincingly. Um, now, also in my outlook last week, I basically said we can watch the price of gold move sideways until we get a resolution from this trade war. Uh, the, the Treasury Secretary is over in China right now. Um, having talks with the Chinese with the trade war issues. And uh, there still really hasn't been any, uh, any real concrete information coming out. I actually have this article I'll put down description area that uh, it's from Bloomberg. It talks about, um, it shows the statements from each side. It gives a side-by-side -side comparison of the statements. And you can literally, you can't really get any definitive direction one way or the other when you read them one one day it's good from one side and one day it's bad from the other so it's uh really up in the air right now and until we do get a definitive yes or no that the trade war is going to continue or not uh we will literally continue to watch gold and silver move sideways where well, this is the gold chart excuse me uh but silver too we'll see the same movement of silver so in the outlook for gold, I am just going to expand this right, excuse me, falling expanding wedge. Uh, so that positive pattern stays in the price of gold chart uh, and the rising wet rising expanding wedge will also stay because it hasn't been broken. And that's what I wanted to get to now. Um, in silver's chart, I do a rise, I, excuse me, I do a, a uh, review and outlook for silver and, um, and as you can see, silver has had a rising expanding wedge in its chart now too for nearly a month. And silver broke below its rising expanding wedge. And uh, silver, if you don't know, often leads gold in their price movements. Uh, clearly not in price, but in the way that they move, silver, silver is more volatile, but it also often leads gold uh, in, the, in the way that it moves. And because silver broke its rising expanding wedge, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm more confident that gold will uh, break its rising expanding wedge sometime in the future. Uh, when that happens, I don't know. Um, so... I expect I literally the outlook is more sideways movement if um, until we hear from the trade uh, representatives over in China if they make a deal or not. Now the deadline isn't until March first, so we got basically two weeks more of this stuff until uh, unless there is some kind of uh, resolution or impasse. Um, so. The outlook is more sideways movement, and we do have a negative, a large negative pattern looming over gold and a smaller um, positive pattern in the gold price chart. So we could see it test the 1325 level, or we could see it test the 1300 level. But I expect it to move around in this area until we hear between the what happens in the uh, talks between the U.S. and China with the trade. So until uh, next weekend, I thank you for your time. Take care and God bless.